pajamas in the bed. Make some noise, y'all. Where did the name come from? Um, I kind of took it. My mm. man, I had these two homeboys when I was like 15, 16. One was named Hakeem, one was named Bakari. And Bakari was from Senegal. His last name was Drame. Mm. And my man Hakeem, he was the biggest Pac fan back in the day. He used to always call Bakari DJ Drama. And then I was like, damn, that shit sound powerful. Like that's, and I was like, yo, you using that? And he was like, nah. I was like, you don't mind if I, so mm. I kind of took it. So he just lied to me in my face. No, that's the true story. No, you said you asked him for it. You didn't take it. Well, I did ask him. Yeah. I, if you asked and it taken, two different So things. I asked. Yeah. yeah. I didn't, you I lied didn't, to me. I didn't take. You just said you took it. I mean, you he, fucked up. He gave it to me. That's 4K. That shit recording. He gave it to me. Are you safe? Are you okay? In life? Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I know. Well, your name is Drama. I know if a lot of shit be going down. I mean, you know, it's been the gift and the curse. Mm -hmm. What's the most expensive thing you bought in a day? In a day? In a day. The most expensive thing I bought in a day. Probably a home. Mm -hmm. They say Soldier Boy was the first person to get on Gangster Grills. Is that correct? That ever had a Gangster Grills? Yeah, they said that. I think that. you're lying. Why you think I'm lying? I don't think Soldier Boy ever said that. Mm. Cut to it right now and show it. They did it. <laughs> he wasn't. Speaking of Gangster Grills, why don't you just call it Barbecue Grills? Barbecue Grills? Mm -hmm. Just doesn't have the same ring to it. You don't like barbecue? Barbecue is good, but. Barbecue grills and gangster grills, like, it flows better. Mm -hmm. You don't think so? Mm -hmm. Everybody got their own opinion. <laughs> uh, so who's your favorite rapper you don't work with, with the project? Like, yeah, this was just history, like, a top one. Let's say top two. Top two? That's good. Give it up, y'all. Yeah! That was good. Yeah! Why'd you pick them? I didn't answer it. Can I answer? Let's give it up for me to answer it. That's hard, that's good. Tyler and Lil Wayne. And then Tyler? G and then Jeezy. Tyler? And then Pharrell. Tyler the Creator? Yeah. It got me a Grammy. Y'all did a project? Damn, y'all did? We did. What song was that? It's a whole project called Call Me If You Get Lost. So is it safe to call you if you get lost? Absolutely. That's your true. number. Yeah. I don't have it. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Call you if I need some I'm money, I'm not going to say it out loud. No, no, you don't. You put it yeah. in. I thought I gave it to you on the uh, plane. Mm -hmm. Seti Hendricks just called you? Yeah, Seti, I told him, come That's up fine. here. That's yeah. fine. Yeah, I just left him. I'll be right back. I might get lost. I don't have my phone, though, so if you get lost. Can y'all give him his phone? If you get lost. I might run to the store. You don't know how to get there? I'm going to call you probably. All right, let me see. I might help you. He just left me up here. Yo. Okay. okay. It's, the right it's the right number. Yeah. I wasn't going to give you a fake All number. Right. Y'all, he gave me the right number. Y'all give him a round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. He's real. He tells the truth. You're a real one. Yeah. You're a real one. Yeah, I got you. It's a real one. Yeah, fake So you know what that mean. What's that mean? My cousin is an up-and-coming rapper. If you don't get that feature, leet. <laughs> I don't believe you. You don't believe me? Nah. His name is up-and-coming. Have you heard about him? I think so. Yeah, he up and coming. So his name is up and coming and he's up and coming? Yeah. What yeah. happens if he pops? Crazy. Up and coming pop. What happens if he becomes a fucking superstar? Up and coming pop superstar. It has a ring to it. Ring tone. So like, explain like, what is like your personality? What do you like to do besides what you like to do? What I like to do, I, I, I'm a movie buff. Mm -hmm. I'll be at the crib, watch movies, work out, hang with my kids. And you like comedy? I love comedy. All right, let's give it up for Cheating Ass Myra, y'all. What's up, what's up? Oh, what's up, man? What's up, how you doing, man? What's up, man? It was popping. So my son, dog, he just got a dog today, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, dog, man. <laughs> <laughs> my son got a dog, man. <laughs> my daddy, man, he chill. I, I think, man, he just came in my life today. What? Oh my God. My daddy just came in my life, man. That's crazy. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you, that's man. Cold. I went outside, did you go outside and the sky was blue still? Yeah. <laughs> Blue sky, man. It's, it's just crazy, man, outside, man. Uh -huh. you know, I got a shit right now, too. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you got a shit, dude. Oh, oh, shit. oh my God, man. <laughs> <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> you know, everybody always laughs at my head. <laughs> <laughs> I can't breathe. 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 I can
Y'all yeah, give it up for Tina as my y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Great job. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you think? Be honest. Um, it's all right. Got mm -hmm. some work to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you don't like comedy? I, was, I do like comedy. Everybody's laughing but you. I was laughing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was laughing with you. You're smiling at him. I think like he he has to take his stories and kind of you know put some more into it. Mm -hmm. So you like drama stories? I'm just saying, like, when it comes to comedy, you know, he had a beginning, but he didn't really have an end. Well, you to say what comedy is, and you are a DJ. Well, I mean, before I'm a DJ, I'm just a man. And DJ comedy. Give it up for DJ comedy. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. 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 DJ comedy. That could have been a name, drama and comedy. Mm -hmm. yeah. so. That wasn't funny. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm not. Give it up for him not being funny. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, that was good. That was a good one. But we do want to put spotlight on here that you do, like, you know, work with great people and okay. you put spotlight on people. So y'all give them a round of applause for that. Yeah. yeah. So come in and change people's life. Like, how do you actually feel like when you can actually, you know what I'm saying, take your art and take other people's art and make art? Uh, it feels amazing. I mean, if you talk about changing lives and, you know, like when it comes to artists, like, mm -hmm. I think that's that's probably one of the the things I, I um I love the most about you know what I do you know to be successful is dope but then to also be able to watch the visions of others and you know watch them go from budding talent to rock stars and superstars like that shit that shit feels amazing. Mm -hmm. So what was you doing way way take us way way back? Man. Okay, right out of high school, or high school age, twenty. Yeah, like so I graduated, I was twenty one. I never really got a like a quote unquote real job. I was like hustling mixtapes and DJing and doing creating gangster grills and then you know that shit like I was putting a lot into it and then about around like oh three oh four oh five is when shit really just took off. Where'd it go? It went to the moon. Mm -hmm. They would come back? No, nah, it, it hasn't come back since. It's, it's been it's gone. It's been up. So let's do a, a live act right now. I want to see, are you good like with conversating your people skills are good? Or like getting out of the jam if you get in an awkward situation? Um, I guess you got to test me. Okay, let's do it. Let's say we got a wedding right now, right? We got a wedding. You got booked. I got booked. And you setting up your equipment, mm -hmm. people there, you know what I'm saying? It's slow. All right, that's the setting. So you DJ. I'll it. come in. <clears throat> Yo, what the hell is he doing here? Why are you here? We just plug up a fucking ox, use our phone. I mean, you know, first of all, I got paid to be here. Second of all, I'm great at what I do, so. Cool story. I mean, I could show you better than I could tell you. Mm, I don't want to see it. Well, I'm already here. Everything's already set up. Like, you know, you already paid me. I didn't pay you. I just feel like I can use my ox. What well, are you going to do different well, from my phone, Kane? A lot. I mean, you're just playing songs off your phone. Like, are you going to scream us? I'm definitely going to entertain. I'm definitely going to rock that mic. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm I just don't get it. Well, I mean, let's talk to the, you know, Are you the groom. You can make me a plate if you want. I'll give you a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> no, that's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, I promise you that's not going to happen. Why? It's just, it's not. So are you fighting DJ now? I'm not here but alone. I don't want to fight. I just want to swing and let it be that. Mm, that's not going to happen either. Mm. Give it up. Round of applause. Yeah, yeah. Good job. Good answer. Good answer. What I did learn from that situation, you are controlling. You think so? Yeah, he was like, it's not gonna happen. Yeah. I told you to leave, you still stayed. If the person that told that booked me told me to leave, respectfully, I would leave. Mm -hmm. So what is your advice to uh, people that get their DJ equipment stolen? This shit happen every day. <laughs> so we're talking about DJs who like actually have to bring all the equipment and Correct. production? Where's the best place to keep it? Maybe a van? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't break the windows in a van. Have you tried it? Never. Usually vans don't have windows. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So you keep it in the van. Well, it depends on what type of van. Yeah, I have an yeah. Astro van. Mm -hmm. You have an Astro van that has windows in it. Yeah, it has windows all the way around. That's probably not the best van to use if you're gonna be moving DJ equipment around. Mm -hmm. That's the van I can afford. Are you a DJ? I am a DJ part time. You should probably look into getting another type of vehicle. You can't yeah, afford it. Yeah, I can't afford it. No, nah, if you have an Astro van, you can afford a van that doesn't have any windows. It's a so, 1996 Astro van. So get you a 96, like, convenient van. They don't sell those anymore. He's, he's going through something. He, all right. He really he got but you something. have a company called Generation Now, and I'm Generation Now. Mm, I feel like you you, you Generation yesterday. Yeah. Why? He is a little old. Yeah. Why do you feel like I'm Generation yesterday? Well, you are kind of How old are you, sir? I'm 48. 
<coughs> that explains it all. Most of our artists are like 19, 20, 21. He is a BBW, so he got to like, What does that have to do with anything? Wait, so but are you a, are you an artist or you DJ? Like, are you trying to get signed? Yeah. So You want to hear me rap? No, don't, please. Does he rap for everybody? I mean, it's just not. This is the first time I've ever offered because you're DJ Drama and you can put me on. I mean, you know. I'm How do you feel people about down. people that walk up to you and like put me on? You know, I, everybody, man, everybody has a dream. I respect it. Mm. But it's just coming at you and just telling you what to do. It's not really telling me, you know. Like, I was once out here hustling mixtapes. Yeah, but he just told you, like, put me on. No, don't. No, please don't let him rap. He no. might be good. Microphone check. My name is Big Mac. I never fat, never whack, never lack. I comes with big stacks. Mm. Bars. 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 What you think? I don't know if, you know, you suit Generation now, but I think if you have a dream and a vision. It give you like ice tea vibe. You should keep going. I keep going, round the mound, the rebound, call me I didn't mean. Back. I didn't mean keep going like right now. I meant just like with your, with your dream. Can you get the mic from him? That's cool. It's a little, feels a little 80-ish. Hardest part of your career? You know, staying, staying relevant. You know, I've been DJing literally 30 years this year and I've been in the game since 04, 05, you know? Mm -hmm. So just to be here in 2022, going into 2023, I had one of my biggest years thus far this year won a grammy won best dj of the year at the hip-hop awards you know so yeah so you know that was a, that we was supposed to clap not you let's give him a round of applause yeah, yeah, yeah. you said your grace like, yeah i was just you know paying homage mm -hmm. for the claps mm -hmm. well, yeah i know seti and i hear his chains come up here seti come say what's up <laughs> to the <laughs> You recognize the chains? What's up, gang? So, what are three words you can say about him right now that makes him different? There's three words. Um, when it comes to work, music, like talented, like. consistent, superstar. And then, how did y'all relationship come about? Um, he snuck into my studio, mm -hmm. and um, he met uh, one of my NRs, Willie Joe. They started working together. And then I came in one day and it was playing a record and I, I was like, oh, this shit is fire. So I, I went right into the booth and hopped on the record. So what do you got to say about working by his side? Like, how do you feel like, shit, I fuck with this, this nigga, man. I ain't gonna hold you, you feel me? Like, Jit, Jit know what he doing. Mm -hmm. He know what he doing. Like, he good at this shit. Mm -hmm. I learned just a lot. Patience, that's the number one thing I learned working with patience. But you gotta work hard mm -hmm. what you got going. Let's well, appreciate it, y'all. Give it up right there. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate you, bro, for coming you. up. Appreciate you, man. Mm, my guy. <clears throat> That's my yeah, guy so right there. Right now, it's, just, it's really dope that you, like, you know, be, like, open-minded. Absolutely. But sometimes that can hurt you, too. In what way? Mm, just certain people. Like, you know, and that's a gift and a curse because everything ain't good. I everything feel Everything ain't bad. Right. So what do you have to say? Do you accept the bad when it do happen? Um, I just don't respond. So when the kids call stressing you out, you don't text them back? No. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. I mean, should I? Hmm? You think I should? Hmm. Technically, if you think about it. Okay. Basically, because you know Triple H went against Mankind back in 2002. Triple H, the wrestler. You're right. Undertaker came out. Uh -huh. Kane and them got into it. Kane and Undertaker. Okay. That's when I found out they wasn't real brothers. Fucked me up. Got you. And then the crazy part is, you know Martin, the Martin show? Of course. Right. You know, like the when they laugh, the audience? Right. It's... I thought that that shit was fake. You didn't know that? I thought it was a live audience. Nah, you know they have a sign that says applause. Right. Kind of how like your shit works, like they know. Applause! Yeah! 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 So did you used to DJ that? I don't know what that had to do with Triple H and Undertaker and- I wasn't and done. That. All right, okay. go ahead. So proceed. Uh, so basically they got into it. Yeah. And that's when, uh, what's his name? Trick Daddy came out. Trick Daddy? Mm -hmm. the but rapper. not the real Trick Daddy, no. This nigga actually a trick. Gotcha. Right. So he started actually tricking on a lot of people. Gotcha. And that's where my mama fucked with him. They fucked, made me. Now I'm here with you. Yeah. Give it up for him. Oh, yeah! Oh, so basically you're saying something good can come out of the bad. Right. Because you wouldn't be here. If she wouldn't have never met Trick Daddy. I mean, you got a good point. Mm-hmm.
Trick Daddy's your daddy? No, not that Trick Daddy. The trick, uh, like a real Trick Daddy. Also, you saying Trick Daddy fake? Nah, I don't. Trick Daddy, the rapper? Hmm. Who are we talking about? We talk. Well, one we was talking about your dad. You're right. Yeah. Who's a, a His name is Matthew. Dad. His, your dad's name Matthew. Right. I'm not your daddy. No, not you. Oh, okay. His name His is name Matthew. Matthew. So. Right. But there is a rapper named Trick Daddy. I say he a poet. He's like, baby, because baby, I'm a thug. Like I said, that's poetry. Rap is poetry. Yeah, it can be. I mean, you know, well, what do you think what is what, what I do? Like, when I talk on the tapes, right? Mm -hmm. My shit don't rhyme. Right. But I say very creative things. Mm -hmm. What do you consider that? I call it messy because you're hopping on people's stuff and not letting them talk. Well, I normally, <laughs> I normally like, where I- Gangsta Grills! Where I do my talking- Yeah! Is not- See that? It was rude. You, you did yeah, yeah, see? <laughs> but you didn't space it out correctly. Mm -hmm. So, like, when I pause, then you say Gangsta Grills. Mm -hmm. So why don't you talk like this on the intro? You yell on it. Um, actually, it just depends on the project. Like mm -hmm. if you go listen to currency. Yeah, you have talked. You yeah, you talk. You know, I'll go with the music. So if it's so more how much of a have your voice made? Oof. Crazy, right? Have you ever thought about that? That's crazy. Right? Wait a minute, he gets paid to talk. Yeah. <laughs> In between people's rapping, and he's yeah. not making sense. No, it makes sense. I'll be saying some shit. Literally. Like what? Like literally. Right. Extra grizzle. I mean, not. Nah, I'll be saying some shit. Like who is the bastards? Um, the people with no fathers around, cause that's what bastard mean, right? Yeah, yeah you know, I'm, it's just like it's for the non-believers. Can we get you something? Can you do something with Kirk Franklin? I would love that. I saw Kirk Franklin at the BET Awards. But what would you say? Cause you can't say gangster girl, you bastards on his stuff. Nah, I, I could say some shit though. I wouldn't say sh some shit, but <laughs> you know, I, you know what I mean. Well, I'm trying to see. Cause people say like people like to compare. Like people will say like. Kirk Franklin is the DJ drama of gospel, or DJ mm -hmm. drama is like what Kirk Franklin is. Those are people I never saw. I that. never heard that. Yeah, you I never heard that? Did. No. Did I've you just make that up? Nah, I swear to God. If you did, it's cool. I didn't, I swear to God. I've, I've seen it on Twitter. Whisper, I didn't make whisper, it up. Whisper, whisper, whisper. I didn't make it up. Okay. Yeah, I heard about it. I just didn't want to be on your side. <laughs> I don't yeah. know why. Yeah. I mean, loyalty, I guess. You loyal to your team? No, I don't really have a team. This your team. I don't give a fuck about it. You should be loyal to your team. They're not my team. Why are you saying that? Because we here, this is a job. He's not lying. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like Generation Now is mm -hmm. my record label. Mm -hmm. I Could I be team. over there? Huh? Could I get signed? We would love to have you over there. For sure. Because you do numbers. Yeah. I know you're bringing us some money. Good job. I'm really trying to get to it. I want to do some other shit, like well, make, like movies, and then we can actually okay. do like a DJ movie or your story. Okay. Because look, it's not a DJ movie out there. If right. you really think about it, no. like, the, like everything you've been through, exactly. put it in a movie, written by me. I take every fucking thing, I'll take care of you later. We could talk about it. Hmm. I don't know about you taking everything. I wouldn't do that. Yeah, that's, we gotta that's figure sad. the numbers out. Oh, that's yeah. yeah. I edit that part out the video. I <laughs> won't take that. You can leave it in there. I was. <laughs> <laughs> it's my show. I know. Featuring. DJ Drama. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that feature. <laughs> it's my shit. <laughs> it's like your yeah, gangster growth. Yeah. So when you talk on the show, is that your shit? When I talk on like your show? On the song. Nah, it's more like featuring me. That's all right. You the first rapper that don't rap. I'm a DJ. Or the first feature that don't rap. Yeah. I mean, I be saying some shit. Like I said, I just can't make my shit rhyme. Mm -hmm. But I definitely be saying some shit. Mm -hmm. They lucky I'm not a rapper. Yeah. Are you really correct? No, I can't. If I could, I would. So why the hell would they be lucky? <laughs> <laughs> They're lucky I'm not. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Right. I mean, but if you can't. My shit is so creative. Like, I be, I be really saying some shit. Mm -hmm. Like I just did this song with Snoop. You want to hear it? Yeah, let's play. Really let, let me see my phone. That'd be good. I be I said some shit on here. Hold on, it's coming out soon. I was about to get it on release. Okay. Yeah. Exclusive. So we get it. So when shit get leaked, it be his fault. And he be like, "Why my shit leaked?" So nah, don't leak it. it. See, look, just listen to the type of shit I say. That's hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna listen. I just had to get with you. All right, y'all. That's a bar. It's like how he needs 21 for every 21 in the store. I know. He was talking over the other dude. <laughs> Who's that person yelling in the background of the song? That's me. That's him. That's, That's what, what he do. Did? That's all he do. I mean, respectfully, like, I've been doing it yeah. so long. Yeah. 
and everybody wants me to do it, so they must like it. Huh? They huh? must like it. Where is it Somebody like it. Is it on your mixtape? This is on Snoop Dogg's uh, Gangsta Grills. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, okay, okay. Yeah. You work a lot. You got a lot of projects. I do. You got a lot of plaques at the house? I do. Hey, you got an IG picture of all your plaques? Um, they're, they're not all going to fit in one picture. You but you are a legend. I appreciate that, too. I appreciate to sit down with you. No, I'm good looking. Yeah. You're doing your motherfucking thing. I want y'all to give a round of applause DJ Drama. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Keep going up. Keep going up. Keep going up. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Yeah. 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 Talk your shit. Talk your shit. No, I'm good looking. Yeah, so I'd like to do something with you, so we can do something dope. Absolutely. Yeah, put me crazy. on the album or something. Talk. That'd be fire. How do you feel about debit cards? You got one? I have a debit card, yeah. You mind showing us running back? Mm, I do mind. Okay, okay, okay. Got you. Yeah. We almost had them, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> almost fucking had them. All right, y'all, give a round of applause, y'all. Appreciate it, man. That's a wrap. Appreciate it. Have you ever been jumped? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. How was it? No, nah, I was on Great That Fire, though. I wouldn't mind scamming if I know I can get a quick 50000 and get out. 50000 Yeah. Scammers get $873 out of old lady accounts. <laughs> How would you know this? If you had OnlyFans, what would you be doing? Eating chips and shit? We reach our sexual peaks the older we get. Y'all reach our sexual peaks at 13. That's like a nigga, basically your grandma is busting crazy nuts. Meanwhile, your pop-up can't get up. You know what I mean? 